Hey, Chris with Dominate Marketing here, and if you want a great way to get more clients for your marketing agency, that's what I'm gonna show you how to do in this video. I'm gonna show you a really cool way, which is called the Lumpy Package Strategy, which is a little ironic if your agency is like mine and you're using digital marketing strategies and very modern marketing strategies for your clients. What we're gonna do here is very low-tech. We're gonna use low-tech in order to get clients for our high-tech market, but you'll see how it works. So if you've tried email, you've tried Facebook messaging, you tried maybe LinkedIn, maybe you tried sending messages to companies, contact pages on their websites, but you didn't really get much responses, then this is for you. This is gonna be a great way around that. And this is the strategy that I'm actually using for my business right now, so you get to follow along with exactly what I'm doing. Okay, so let's jump into it. First, I'm gonna tell you why this works. And in order to understand why it works, you kind of have to put yourself in your prospect's shoes. So your prospect is a business owner, and if you've been a business owner with a publicly listed business, you know that business owners are constantly bombarded with people trying to sell them services. Maybe it's SEO services, maybe it's marketing services, maybe it's business loans, maybe it's health insurance for their employees, right? If you are listed as a business owner somewhere, people are just bombarding you from all angles with all sorts of advertisements for their service. So if you're a business owner, you are just going to reflexively throw out all of the ads that come to you. So if you are trying to get the attention of business owners, basically you have to rise above all that noise. You gotta figure out some way to set yourself apart from that. And if all you're doing is sending emails and sending LinkedIn messages and sending Facebook messages, well, you're just one of a thousand more messages that they're getting, so probably they're not even looking at it. And to make matters even worse, that if you're targeting businesses such as doctor's offices, which are the, the business that I'm targeting, uh, you have gatekeepers that you have to get through, right? If you send an email to a doctor's office, chances are it doesn't go directly to the doctor, right? It goes to the receptionist. And then if it's an email selling something, well, she just throws it in the spam folder and never even tells the doctor about it. And even if what you send is really good and it would catch the doctor's eye, well, it might not catch the receptionist's eye because the receptionist doesn't really care how many clients are coming into the clinic or how many clients the business is getting, right? She gets paid $12 an hour or whatever to sit there and answer the emails, and she doesn't really care if what you provide can help the clinic. In fact, she'd probably prefer that there are fewer people that are coming in because it makes her job easier. So you can see how this is difficult, right? You gotta, one, you gotta get past the gatekeeper, and then two, if you get past the gatekeeper and you get to the actual business owner, you have to actually get that business owner's attention. So that's pretty difficult to do with things like email because the barrier to entry is so low. I mean, let me ask you, of the emails that are in your inbox right now, what percentage of those do you ever even open? Right, let me know in the comments. I mean, for me, it's probably like less than 10% of mail that I actually open. If it's promotional mail, then it's probably even less than 5%. Now, let me ask you a different question. Of the physical mail, of the letters and the packages that you get in your mailbox, what percentage of those do you open? I'll bet you open a lot more of your physical mail than you do of your email, because everybody does. So that's a quick workaround right there, is you can send physical mail instead of sending email. Now let's take that one step further. Say that you got two pieces of mail. One of them looks like this, and the other one looks like this. Of those two, which one would be more likely to get your attention, and which one would you be more interested to open? The package, of course. I'm willing to bet that the, of the packages that are sent to your house, you open just about 100%. So a package is awesome because it generates attention. And if you're sending to somebody who maybe gets a lot of packages, you can even take that a step further by making your package really colorful or really weirdly shaped. Right, that's where the name, the lumpy package strategy comes from. I didn't create that, that's from Russell Brunson, I think. But anyway, if you want to get anybody to do anything, there's a very simple three-step process that you have to put them through. And the, the process is this. Step one is the hook. You have to get their attention. Step two is interest. Once you get their attention, you have to get them interested. You have to show that you can be of some benefit to them. And then number three is a CTA, which stands for call to action. So you got to get their attention, 
you got to get them interested in whatever it is you have to offer, and then you have to give them something to do that will continue the sales process. So my strategy is to send my brand new book, which you guys probably haven't seen yet, but I wrote this book, The Magic of Compound Interest Growth, Online Strategies for Offline Market Domination. I wrote with my business coach, Myron Golden, and this book is all about the online strategies, like it says, the online strategies that offline businesses, that brick and mortar businesses, such as doctor's offices, but this can work for just about anything. Could work for contractors, could work for restaurants, for auto mechanics, like almost any kind of business uh, would could benefit immensely from the information in this book. And what businesses are not interested in getting more customers, in getting more sales, and making more money? Well, all of them are interested in that. So. My strategy is to send a package. That's the hook, right? Because the package is always gonna get attention and it's gonna get past the gatekeeper, right? Because if I send the package and I write the name of the doctor on the package, well, the secretary isn't just gonna throw it away, right? Because she's gonna be worried that she's throwing away something important. That package is going to get to the doctor and he's going to look at it. And then I have a book a physical book that shows how I can make him more money. Do you think that generates interest? Of course. And then at the end of the book, I have, I don't know if you can see this here, but I have a invitation to book a free strategy session where I will create a free marketing plan. That's to get on a call with me where I can sell him my services or if he's not ready to do that yet, I have an opt-in funnel that gives him a free training that will get him into my opt-in sequence. And by the way, if you don't have a book and you're thinking, oh, okay, that's great for you, but how can I do this? Stick around to the end because I'm gonna give you a pretty cool workaround for that that you probably won't find anywhere else. By the way, if you're finding this video helpful, please do me a big favor, hit the thumbs up because it makes a YouTube algorithm like me better and hit the subscribe and the little bell icon beside the subscribe button because I'm gonna be doing a lot more videos in the future, including a bunch more ways that you can find clients for your agency. This is only one way, there's a whole bunch of other ones. Anyway, so the call to action is these, these links in the back of the book uh, which kind of suggests that the doctor has to read the book before getting to those links. Well, I don't want to count on him having to read the entire book. I would much rather him just kind of see that I have a book, say, oh, this gives him credibility, right? This guy knows what he's talking about. Maybe he reads the first chapter or two, then he gives me a call. So I'm not going to wait for him to get all the way to the back of the book. I'm also going to include a letter along with the book in the package, and I'm also, I'm going to tuck it into the book so that the, the gatekeeper doesn't throw it out. I mean, not that she would anyway, but just in case. And in that letter, I'm going to invite him to book a call with me, and that's where I'll close the sale. So I actually wrote out what I'll say in the letter. I might, I might edit this a little bit, but um, I will give you the exact words that I'm saying as of now, so you can use this in your own strategy. So this is my letter. I say, hey, this is Chris with Dominate Marketing. I think I can help your business double or triple or more your revenue this year. I know that's a bold claim and you probably don't know who I am, so I'm sending you a free copy of my new book, The Magic of Compound Business Growth, which details the modern marketing strategies we implement for our clients, which is advanced stuff that very few companies in your industry are using. This is a huge opportunity and I guarantee you the strategies you learn in my book will make a big difference in your business, whether you choose to work with me or not. But if you would like us to meet with you and create a marketing plan that's custom tailored to your unique business, go to dominatethemarketplace.net slash SS and tell us a little bit about your business or you can just call me at my cell at my cell phone number. Enjoy. So that's my hook, my interest, and my call to action. In fact, I have a few call to actions in there. I have a call to action right at the beginning, right when he opens the package, you'll see the letter. That's a call to action. And then I have a second call to action at the back of the book when he's done reading the book. And then I have a third call to action uh, right after the second one, which is in case he's not ready to get on the call with me, he can get further training and thus be put into my email nurture sequence, which is something I describe in this video. Now, I told you I'd give you an alternative if you don't have a book. Now, before I go into that, let me say that you should have a book at some point, right? And I know it takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of effort, 
to create a book, uh, but at some point, having a book is very helpful because being an author makes you an authority, right? The word authority comes from the word author. If you want to talk about somebody who is an expert on something, you talk about, you, you call him the person who wrote the book on that thing. So uh, I happen to be the person who wrote the book on compound business growth, right? This positions me as an expert on this topic. So I definitely recommend that if you're going to do this, that you write your own book eventually because the positioning is awesome. But for a workaround for right now, if you want to get some clients quick, I'm going to give you an offer that you've probably never heard anywhere else. I'm going to let you use my book, this book right here, to send to clients to promote your own offer. Now, I know you're probably thinking, okay, well, well how would that work? That's not my book. You could just call me your business partner, right? Read the book, make sure that you understand the things that are in the book, and then just say, hey, I thought I'd give you this book written by my business partner that describes the strategies that we're gonna use to double, triple, quadruple your business revenue, right? Because the business owner doesn't care so much who wrote the book as much as he cares is what you can do for him. And if you're associated with me, and if I have taught you my knowledge, then you can apply the same knowledge and whether it comes from you or it comes from me, it really doesn't matter. And then if you would like, uh, I recommend that you put your own letter with it. You have your own link to somewhere where the prospect can sign up for a call. And then if you like, uh, where I have my links in the back here, you can just black that out with a black marker and write your link below it. Right, you can do that for both of them if you want. Now, this book, I don't have for sale anywhere. So, if you want to order these books, uh, I sell them in sets of 20. I will not sell you one of these books. I sell them in sets because you're gonna wanna send out a bunch of them to a bunch of different prospective customers and then a few of those can become your customers. So, I will send you 20 copies of this book for $250 within the continental USA. If you're outside that area, um, you can talk to me and we can maybe figure something out because I don't really understand the shipping rates internationally So I'll have to figure that out But for within continental USA $250 for 20 copies or if you want 40 copies I'll sell it to you for 450 and I don't have a sales page for this This is just kind of a special intimate offer between me and my YouTube subscribers So just send me an email if you're interested send me an email at chris at dominate the marketplace net just let me know that you're interested and we'll take it from there. And this is first come first serve because you know I have a limited quantity of these books. So once I run out, you know, I don't know when I'm gonna get more printed. So I'm not guaranteeing you that I'll have them available, but send me an email and uh, we'll figure it out from there. And if you also wanna use my funnel, right? I have a funnel set up. I have a lead capture page and I have an application page that I use for my clients. I can share that funnel with you too and I can share the videos that I use, right? I have a, a video that I use as a lead magnet that's called the Prospect Pyramid, all about different types of categories. It's something that's a, really attractive to business clients, and so I can get them to opt in that way. So if you want my funnel and my lead magnet that you can use for yourself, again, just say that I'm your business partner, let me know in the email if you're interested in that too. That's gonna be a little more expensive, but it's definitely something that we can do. So that is the complete Chris Shoup version of the Lumpy Package strategy for getting more clients into your marketing agency. If you want to learn more ways to get clients into your marketing agency, let me know in the comments. Let me know that's something that interests you. And of course, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon beside the subscribe button so you get all those new videos when they come out. And I know when I record videos like this that really only maybe 10% of the people watching are ever going to actually take action or ever going to actually do anything. So. If you're thinking, oh, that sounds cool, but it's not for me, or something like that, I highly recommend that you check out this video, which is all about how school programs us to fail, how we have all these mindsets that are beaten into our head through school and through a bunch of other ways that teach us that we can't do it. Because if you recognize it, that's how you can beat it.